All right, welcome. So in this video, I'm going to go through an example where we use vector operations, specifically where we do some vector addition, subtraction, and scaling, and we're going to do it both algebraically and geometrically. I'm going to do a two-dimensional example just because it's easier for us to graph in two dimensions than it is to graph in three. So for this example, let's compute the vector a plus the vector b, one-third of the vector b, and the vector a minus one-third of the vector b. And let's do this both algebraically and geometrically. So here, let's say the vector a is equal to negative one, four, and the vector b is equal to three, six. I'm going to go ahead and do it algebraically first, and actually, why don't you try that out on your own? Try to add a and b, do one-third of b, and do a minus one-third b algebraically, and see what your resulting vectors are, and then come back and we'll do it together. Okay, so for a plus b, I'm going to write out that a is negative 1, 4, and b is 3, 6, and now I just add the components. So negative 1 plus 3 is 2, and 4 plus 6 is 10. So I'm getting 2, 10 as my new vector, which is a plus b. All right, let's do one third of b. So the way it works with scaling is we just take one third multiplied by the vector b, which is 3, 6, and that one third gets distributed into each component. So I do one third times three and one third times six. One third times three is just one and one third times six is two. So my solution is the vector one, two. Lastly, let's now do a minus one third of the B vector. So I have my solution for one third of B from my last part. So I'm gonna substitute that in. I'm taking a, that's negative one, four, and I'm subtracting off the vector one, two. That's my one third b. Then I subtract corresponding components. So I do negative one minus one for the x component and four minus two for the y component. So here I'm getting negative two, two as my resulting vector. So we should be able to find all of these values geometrically. So first we have a plus b. I'm going to start with a being in standard position, and I'm writing it as negative 1, 4. So the x goes 1 to the left, and then the y is up by 4, and this is my initial vector. Then for b, I'm starting at the tail of a, so the terminal point of a, and I'm going to do the b movement. The b movement is right by 3, so that's 3 on the x, and then up by 6, that's a positive 6 on the y. And now I'm just going to draw a new vector from the start of A to the end of B, and this is my A plus B vector. And if we look, the movement should match what we got from previously in the algebraic part. So I'm seeing a movement by 2 to the right, that's in the x direction, and a movement of 10 up, that's in the positive y direction. So my vector should be 2, 10, which is what we found algebraically. All right, let's do the next problem. So we have one third of the B vector. So I'm gonna draw my B vector here in standard position. It goes three in the positive X direction and six in the positive Y direction. So one third of B, I like to think of taking the X and the Y and just scaling them down by one third. So instead of going three on the X, I'm going to go one. And instead of going six on the Y, I'm going to go two. So my new vector is a one to the right and two up, the vector one, two. So another way to do this geometrically is to look at the length and then try to cut it up into three pieces so that we have one third of the length. And you'll see here that if we added three of these one third b's together, we'd get the full length. And the vector we've drawn for one third b is a third of the size of b itself. All right. So next, we're going to finish up by finding a minus one third b. So I'm starting with a in standard position. We've drawn this already. And now I'm going to place the negative one third b 
tip to tail with the A vector. So the negative switches the direction of one third B, and now my movement goes negative one on the X and negative two on the Y. And now I'm going to place the negative one third B tip to tail with the A vector. I can draw in my resulting vector starting at the beginning of A and ending at the end of negative one third B. And I'm seeing that my vector goes two to the left, so negative two on the X and two up, so positive two on the Y. So my resulting vector for A minus one third B is negative two, two which matches what we got algebraically. All right, so that is our example of doing the vector operations of addition, subtraction, and scaling. Thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to you in the next one.